Hello guys, we just opened the Sonus Ray soundbar, the, the, just, uh, the brand new soundbar from uh, Sonus. This is the most inexpensive soundbar from uh, Sonus. It comes in a nice box from uh, eco-friendly materials that are recycled. The substantial uh, option is number one for Sonus here. So we found the soundbar uh, covered inside this ni nice cloth. You can use this uh, for uh, later uh, if you like to store your soundbar or to cover it from to, to protect it from the dust. Okay, in front here there is a grill which which we have removed already in order to deep to do the deep unboxing. And now we're checking the box, the extra box that we found inside. This is the let's start guide, which is a a nice way to start your installation, which is very straightforward. And the company provides you with this nice optical cable for your first connection with your television. And then we discovered the power cable, which is nice. It has this special plug in order to have an aesthetical connection, not only electrically with your soundbar. This is not Dolby Atmos, has no HDMI, has no Bluetooth, but it's the most inexpensive sound bar these days in the market with networking and streaming feature. That means using the Sonos app, you can stream content, you can stream music from music services, you can uh, do whatever you like, and uh, you can listen to the radios. Uh, Sonos provides a lot of radios already pre-installed on in the app in order to, to listen to the radios. Then you can you can uh, stream your content. Uh, if you are listening from the TV, you you have night mode and uh, dialogue enhancement to enhance the dialogues of the content that you are uh, watching uh, on your television. Or you can play, for example. It's a very straightforward soundbar for the Sonos uh, users. You can expand the Ray soundbar with. Uh, let's say with an external subwoofer or a surround speakers for example if we can if we like to listen to this song we can, song we can do this and the sound bar starts playing music after a few seconds so on the back we can see there is a main input the optical in digital ethernet and the connecting and the connect button to connect the sound bar with the sonus system so no HDMI, no other connections, no analog uh, audio, nothing, just optical and Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet. So you cannot have uh, Dolby Atmos, for example, but you can have, uh, but you can stream music, you can stream uh, content uh, from your smartphone or through the Sonus app, or to connect your TV here with the optical and plays very well, as you can see. You can place the soundbar underneath your TV or uh, on the wall. There are two holes here to use uh, the optional bracket. Underneath we have these elastic pads here, which is, are very durable and very well made to last a lot of years. So here we're going to do the unboxing now. As you can see, we, it's easy to deep unbox the soundbar, just remove the grill. Here we see the two drivers, they have square magnets, as you can see here, square magnets. The tweeter is there, one tweeter, so we have two drivers and two tweeters. And this guide, the uh, wave guide here, that uh, increases the bass. You see this uh, wave guides, guides here, how they work. So this is a high engineering, acoustic engineering from Sonos to achieve this uh, because it has horns here for the Twitter, Twitter horn here for the bass here, you see because all the sound bar inside works like a cabinet so the back uh, wave of the big drivers, I mean the these ones in front comes out from this port here so there are two like music instrument the, these two tubes here you see one and the other the other side 
that uh, manage the base to come out more powerful. So you see the ports and how well it's designed with a thicker plastic, the baffle and these horns for the tweeter. It's like a compression tweeter. It's uh, very nice. You see the shape of the drivers in front. This, we have two of these. It's, they are not a racetrack. They are oval shape. Two oval shape with this inverted dust cap. So to have full bandwidth. And then we have the two two compression driver tweeters. Compression tweeters. One and the other. And that's, that's all. This is as we said. It's not a Dolby Atmos or... You know, it's a sound bar to increase or to improve in a big level the sound of your television. And don't forget, this is an expensive one. It's it's the only and has networking inside. As you can see here, the cables are very well treated. You see here on the drivers. As you can see here, the treatment of the cable is very good and the drivers here the cable having having this isolation inside we see a lot of uh, acoustic treatment the parts there this is the power supply has this uh, white glue which is very sense uh, the it's very crucial here in order not to vibrate of the base the components you know we have no vibration of the components and here is all the the class d amplification based on the this chipset here, Merus, and we have two of these, class D amplification, and underneath there is the processor and the Wi-Fi feature or the Sonos platform, the streaming Sonos platform. So this is the, the sound bar array, here is the antenna, because here we have Wi-Fi. It's not expensive, but the engineering here is high level, guys. We see the more parts, more boards. So for the price, you you receive huge value here, especially the baffle. All the all the secret all the secret is the baffle and these horns here and the ports and the tubes inside. And the drivers, that's the whole secret here in the Ray sound bar. And her little brother is retarded, but Jesus loves him too. Point accuracy. Whether the soundscape sets the mood of the scene, so let's have a look here. This, this is Dolby Digital. It's a, with a optical connection, it's not a HDMI, so we don't, you cannot have Dolby Atmos. We have night mode and uh, speech enhancement for dialogues, better dialogues on or off. On the top we have three buttons, touch ones, change tracks, you know. So the TV, here, the TV here is 55 inch, it looks quite big for this sound bar, but sound bar has no problem to play big sound. You can expand it by using a subwoofer, wireless one from Sonos, or rear speakers as well. Sonos probably uh, will bring later this year on the market a small subwoofer in order to match it with this Array sound bar. So here is the sound bar with the grill. You see cover. The grill is plastic, it's not metallic. 
acoustically and we, because we have tested the sound bar has a nice sound it plays bigger than its size it has details it has a wide spectrum of coverage and uh, the the voices are very clear and uh, you cannot imagine how good it plays for this kind of money it's so it improves the sound of the television plays the music very nice so you can use it as a active speaker in your house to listen to the music and it's an everyday use uh, speaker active speaker for all purposes so that's all folks i think uh, you got the idea it's a nice sound bar very good looking thanks for watching